with me Stay and watch the day grow I've been waiting for the moment to arrive Come stand with me Down under the stars and night Come look with me From where I stand you can see most everything And I've been waiting for the moment to arrive I was waiting for the moment to arrive I was waiting for the moment to arrive I wouldn't miss it for the world Genesis 2 says, Then the Lord God formed the man out of the dust from the ground and breathed the breath of life into his nostrils, and the man became a living being. Then the Lord God said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make a helper corresponding to him. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to come over the man, and he slept. God took one of his ribs and closed the flesh at that place. Then the Lord God made the rib he had taken from the man into a woman and brought her to the man. Marriage is not just a ceremony, but a covenant established by God. It is commanded in Scripture to be honorable among all, and therefore is not something that should be taken lightly, but respectfully and with purpose. My vow to you is to always be what I am, strong. I will always be there for you. I will always protect you, and I will always provide for you. But I also vow to be more than that, to be the things that I'm not good at, and to grow and to be, try to accept and be more like the things that you're good at. Like patience, being calm, loving others more than you love yourself. To, I promise to always be what I am and try to be more like you, the things that I love the most. And as I said before, we love because He loved us. And I knew He loved me because He brought you into my life. <laughs> I have waited for this day for so long. Most girls grow up dreaming of their perfect wedding with their perfect dress and shoes, makeup and hair, and perfect pictures. But I dreamed of a godly man, one that I could be equally yoked to and be the leader of our future family. I've been praying for you before I even knew who you were or you knew who I was. I always kept the faith that the Lord would send me a man with stead <clears throat> in a steadfast faith that I was so sure in. I knew there was someone out there for me. You're everything I've always prayed for and so much more. And when I began to write my vows, I could not find the words to accurately describe how I felt about today. There are a lot of verses throughout the Bible that talk about love, relationships, and marriage, but the one that speaks to me the most comes from Ruth chapter 1, verse 16 through 17, and although it's not referencing the love between a husband and a wife, <coughs> the words still speak to me every time I read them. The verse reads, Don't urge me to leave you or turn back from you. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. 
where you die I will die and there I will be buried may the Lord do with me ever so severely even if death separates you and me I promise to always remember that you're human laugh with you cry with you support you and push you to be the person I know you can be mistakes will be made and arguments will be had but those mistakes will be forgiven and those disagreements will be resolved as long as we keep God at the center of our relationship. I pray we never forget how blessed we are to have each other, a friend and a partner all in one. I love you. I love you more than I did yesterday and I will love you more tomorrow than I do today. As a minister of the Lord Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Therefore, what God has joined together, let man not celebrate. Josh, you may kiss your bride. It is with great pleasure that I present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Josh Pickett. I see you.